Hello and a welcome back to New Week, New Game. This is actually not supposed to be out today. It's supposed to be a different game. However, it's taken me a little longer to edit that game. I thought I could do that on Saturday, put it together, do some editing, run it through, and um, it's, it's taken a bit longer than I expected to. It's a video that I did with Flog Dog. So I've got two videos that I'm essentially editing and like cutting down and getting things lined up and stuff like that. However, I need a bit more time to be able to cut and add and do everything. Uh, the video in itself is like an hour and 30 minutes long. So I'm trying to cut it down to be shorter, like how we do. But I also have to get uh, the videos kind of lined up together because they're playing simultaneously in order to keep both of our videos kind of in the same area when I'm editing so it makes it easier so I have to do one first initial edit of going through and like picking and choosing what I'm keeping in and then going back again through the second edit to cut down what I need to cut down for time so it's a longer process and in all honesty I should have started a lot sooner not thinking that it was going to take me as long so that'll be what happens next week uh, also my health has been getting better my voice is better as you can hear from me talking uh, I still have a bit of a cough especially when I wake up it's just like my mouth is completely dry and because of that it causes me to cough really bad and it wakes me up so I haven't been sleeping very well I've been getting maybe like two to four hours of sleep and uh, have been very tired throughout the day so hopefully now that this is starting to clear up a bit better I'll uh, be able to get some better sleep because I just kind of like burned a Saturday away uh, thinking I could do more than I could do and uh, so I just kind of wasted my time due to the fact that I was so tired. I, I took like three naps just because I could not keep my eyes open. Anyways, let's get into the game. Enough background chatter. Uh, we are playing Getsu Fumaden Undying Moon. This is a game by Konami Digital Entertainment. And it was in 2021, which is surprising to me because... Uh, I know Konami as a video game company. However, if you go into casinos, you will also see the Konami logo on slot machines. So I thought they transitioned from being a video game company into a casino type company. I guess that's just a little side business that they do. Uh, but I didn't know that they were still making games, or new games at least. Like I know you have their older games and they're remaking like uh, Metal Gear Solid, for instance. Uh, but this looked interesting to me. It's a roguelike game, and I love me some roguelike games. It almost seems like it's got Metrovania feels to it as well. But you essentially are a spirit who takes over a body, and then you're running through this area, uh, cutting down enemies, getting to the boss at the end. Now, if you die, your spirit goes into another body and you get to keep all your memories from your previous run and you gotta progress and level up and that's where the roguelike comes in so you may not get it the first time around but you come back stronger the second time around so i like me some of those types of games the artwork looks amazing just looking at the title screen for this artwork is beautiful i like this kind of art style and the gameplay looked really good as well with the combat that they have. There's a bunch of different mechanics and I can't wait to get into it. So without further ado, let's get in the game. I'm really holding back coughs right now. That whole entire talking. Uh, let's do record one. Should we just be a commoner? A basic difficult for players familiar with action games. Gameplay is casual, but still provides a challenge. A difficult setting geared for beginners. Gameplay is easier with few stages and weaker enemies. That's too commoner. To the game commoner difficulty, yes. Yeah, it's mouse and keyboard used too, so I hope I can use my controller. 
will not let me. With the seal upon hell undone, the world may soon meet its end. Do you still not know of my brother's whereabouts? Oh no, that's Ketsu Fuba, whoops. Clan members have been sent to search for him, but his location is still unknown. Then I shall do this myself. You are the one chosen to lead the clan, thus the task of dealing with this cataclysm falls upon you. Yes, I'll go at once. Prepare yourself. That man realize his chest is on fire. It's like, look at this artwork. Really nice looking. Uh, tech. Oh, okay, we gotta use the keyboard. There we go. Hey, it's a parasol. Hey, shh. Fire that. Hard to change equipment. Block with it. It's like parry with that one. Go. Acquire again. Sub weapons. In addition to a main weapon, the player can equip up to two sub weapons at a time. Limited ammunition and cooldown timers apply to sub weapons, so they cannot be used in rapid succession. However, they have special effects, such as the ability to attack from afar, enhance your character, and more. Find the perfect pairing to your main weapon to help work your way through the game. Alright, pressing Q is what uses it. Yeah. Do I get any ammunition for that? No. Oh, it just recovers over time. Okay. Yeah. Mid air jump, you can do a double jump. You can also do a stomp. Devour. Acquiring a soul will cause your soul devour counter to increase. Using soul steel will provide enhancements according to the number of souls used. Enhanced abilities will be reset if you return to Getsu Clan Estate. You can only hold up to four souls at a time. Acquiring a fifth will give you three soul memories and return your soul devour counter to one. When enhancing main and sub weapons, the soul devour enhancement bonuses based on the weapon's distinctive quality will occur. Enhanced vitality will raise your maximum vitality. Healing potions plus one will cause you to drop a healing potion where you stand. Carefully choose how your enemy or how you enhance your character to efficiently proceed through the game. All right. Sub weapon, which is that bomb. Oh, sure, there'd be like a hidden area over here. We have a dodge button. Left shift. Okay. It's what it said. Transform co combo attacks. Just 
to demonization. Repeatedly landing attacks without taking damage will cause you to demonize into a berserker, powering up your character. Your base abilities are increased according to your level of demonization. You can gain benefits such as increased attack or movement speed. Demonization will end if you take damage or fail to defeat any enemies for a period of time. Plan, or plan wisely to maintain demonization and take advantage of its benefits. H to proceed to get to clan estates. Yes. Alright, so there is a little tutorial. And we got our first achievement. Traverse the Blight and Foothills for the first time. Oh, let's uh, select difficulty. It's important to know when to retreat. Nameless Katana. And proceed to land of limbo. Reach the land of limbo for the first time. Achievement unlocked. Okay, so we don't have any of the things that we had before. This guy. What's he do? Uh, rusted chain. Let's go down, see what we can find. <laughs> we cheesed him. Can I get past this thing? Nothing early over here, but yes, yes we can. Yeah, that tree is used for something different. Bring it back to life. Uh, is that a death? It's not. It's just water. There's like more below it though, I can see on the map. Ah, thought I was a far enough distance away. We got a soul. Yeah. Oh. Send him to hell on orders to find. Ah, no, don't hurt me. Okay, cool, it doesn't hurt me. Reading helps! 
then ascended to hell on orders to find the root cause of these wicked creatures. But I abandoned my descent into the de deepest depths, for I must return alive with what tidings I may. I sense a great power down there, but I know not what it is. Cool. Oh, that's quick. Oh god, I got too many people who are gonna throw things at me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll definitely hurt me. What is the purpose of coming down here? Nothing here. So I have to kind of go this way. Just fell there. Acquire. Dual blades might be better than my, uh, Aimless katana. Uh, attack is 88. My aimless katana. Uh, don't want to change it. So we to cancel. I can do this. A guy in the background there. Floated above. Successfully used slay on a regular creature. Uh, this would be an acquire. It's a rank three weapon. Two hundred and twelve attack. I think we are going to be replacing this. Confirm. Is big red. Very nice. Uh, I forget which button I was supposed to press to heal. So I did want to get my health up. Yeah. <laughs> um. Shoot, which one was it? You? Nope. It's that.
Oh, I was trying to do that. Go further. Hell, just in a roll fest. Yeah. Oh, double the bumps, double the fun. Nameless mass. This thing is also just a big bad beat stick. It's a rank two, three teachings of battle on it. So it does a lot of damage. Part of me wants to replace it with this, but I feel like it's going to be the same thing as this thing. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. I don't think I can actually go anywhere from here. Is there a map button? Maybe in the far left over there? Like there's that thing, but I don't think you can get over there. Oh wait, maybe up here. Yeah, right here. Okay. Hey there. No man, little old me. to it. Lily of the Valley. Yeah, might as well. Let's get rid of that. Boop. And break it down. What's this? Just a mystery. I kind of want to go figure out what that mystery is. Uh, yeah, let's go do it now. This is a mystery level. Hey there. He's like zombie prostitutes. Raise weapon rank. Activation main weapon activation sub. Raising equipment rank. Raising the rank of equipment costs soul memories and coins. The higher the rank, the stronger its stats, including base attacks. Why is there Rasta music playing right now? Hey, man. I feel like I walked into a smoke shop. Uh, let's get the rest of the chain a little stronger. Activation main weapon. Activate the unlock skills of main weapons and sub weapons to use a variety of abilities activation will reset when you return to the getsu clan estates Whoa. activating one skill uses one soul memory you cannot activate a skill unless the previous one has been activated 
so memories are located throughout the stage and cannot be acquired from enemies or treasure boxes. The amount you can obtain is limited, so be strategic with which skills you choose to activate. This just says that it's locked. Plus 5% damage, increase regular damage multiple times. Oh, let me. Just farts at me. Oh, I can do this. Bang of Pursuit Purple, target of successful attack. Oh, okay, that's my sub weapons. What about the back here? Oh, ho, ho. we can do this teaching a battle. And these are all still locked. So we can't unlock them. And I don't know how we unlock them. Or it told me and I just wasn't paying attention. No, they got things for sale. I didn't even notice. Undying gauntlets. Not a whole, whole lot. So it's just a, a Rastafarian shop is what we ran into. Little back alley Rastafarian shop. Took him out. Oh, a musket. I know I just. Oh, okay. No, it's a it's a sub weapon. It's got less attack. Hmm. More ammo, though. Do that. There's those uh, gauntlets. What does it do? It's its main weapon. Okay. I don't want that, so we'll just break you down. Oh, there's something here. Proceed to mystery, but choose a boss battle to fight this guy. This guy right, right there. that hand. How about that? What's he gonna do? What's happening? Get away from me! Get away from me! Ow! Revive back. Uh oh, oh, he's doing a thing. Ah. Oh, that hurt. Uh, F. Boop. Boop. I threw that the wrong direction.
Yeah, we beat him in one. And I can acquire things from him. All right. Oh, it wasn't that lovely? There's a chest here. With lots of souls. Uh, let's see. Your potions plus one actually should be good to do. And require enhancements. Forge weapons and unlock skills. Train secret arts. Let's see what this Rastafarian zombie lady's got. I, I completely didn't read any of that. Uh, to use the refinement and unlock skill features, you must have the necessary materials. In refinement, you will also need relevant armor scrolls, diagrams. Uh, once a main weapon or sub weapon has been refined, there's a chance it will appear randomly in the rest of the game. Cool. Unlock skill will reveal hidden skills for refined main weapons and sub weapons. Activate unlock skills for a variety of effects. Skills must be unlocked in order. You cannot unlock a skill unless the previous one has been unlocked. To increase your capabilities, aim to collect diagrams and materials as you play through. So, that was what we were trying to do. We got Nameless Katana. We got Keen Katana. Whatever these are. The Antique Umbrella. The Utamaru, the Umbrella. This one gets a name. It is Utamaru, the Umbrella. Dual Blades. Fan Blades. Nameless Mass, which is what I've been using. Spiny Punisher. That one's a lot better than uh, Nameless Mass. Rusted Chain. Swift Chain of Binding. Rusted Sword. Gleaming Great Katana. Antique Spear. Keen Spear. Antique Gauntlets. Unyielding Gauntlets. Um, I think we should focus on one main weapon and one sub weapon now the mass where'd it go I had it around here seemed to have I think been more of like the MVP as much damage as I've been doing with this thing and uh, I know there's a better version of it out there but we've been doing the regular version and I think I'm going to continue on with the regular version Except for we're not going to, because I have no ghoulish bones. I think the Spiny Punisher has anything better? Oh, no, we don't. Okay. How about Rusted Chain? We used Rusted Chain. All right, yeah, we don't have any of that equipment. Uh, let's go over here. We didn't use the Bamboo Longbow, the Magic Bloodthirsty Bow. That's cool. Sounds really cool. Uh, Lily of the Valley, though. We did do this one. Can we go further with this at all? No, we cannot. Uh, how about the musket? I mean, should I be doing it to just any random ones? Iron caltrops? Nine cloud cal caltrops? Uh, Inferno mana bracelet? Barrage mana bracelets? There we are. The pipe of thunder and flame. Yeah, we don't have any of these extra stuff. So, uh... I don't know if I should just continue with, like, whatever random one. Or if we just hold out. Maybe just hold out. Uh, train. Training will permanently enhance your six base abilities. Life, base stat for vitality, technique, attack, damage, multiplier, break, attack, break, damage, multiplier. Flash, increase damage, multiplier when flash is successful. Stealth, increase break, damage, multiplier when a surprise attack is successful. Impact, base stat for stomp damage. A certain number of spirit materials training are required for enhancement. They can also require the armor scroll training menu. Find them and enhance your abilities. All right, so we did pick up quite a few of those. The way of strength for Fuma. Cost 45, I have 10. Anything cost 10? No? All right, so we're not improving ourselves at all. Sacred arts. There are plenty of additional abilities unlocked with mastery. These unlocked abilities have a permanent effect. 
a certain number of spirit minerals master are required for enhancements and some also require the armor scroll mastery book find them and unlock additional abilities uh i have 13. you have anything here for 13 was i not supposed to beat this in one was i were they like counting on me losing and coming back because i'm not able to progress and get stronger at all um what you got raise weapon rank now uh, we did this one already well now that i know that there's a better version of these three out there i don't want to raise their rank but what about this one not enough spirits to do it but i can get the attack up pretty high I forget that they, like, regenerate, too. So I could have been using these the entire time. Activation for main weapons. Which you can't do because those are locked and we don't have enough to be able to unlock it. So there's no point in doing any of these activations. Um... I guess raising our weapon rank will be the only thing that we can really do. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not going to raise the rank of these other ones. Alright, let's proceed to Hellfire Cliff. Or what's over here? You need the marine key to open the path. Uh, proceed to get to Clan Estate. So we'll just go and proceed even further down. To Hellfire Cliff. Reach Hellfire Cliff for the first time. Get an achievement. How far in? It's 38 minutes. They could technically stop there. I mean, we got pretty much past the first boss. Uh, we continue forward. Can I go back? No. Is there a way, like, if I do this? There's an N button. Return to title, quit game. Restore, discard your current progress, and try again from Getsu Clan Estate. Unlock skills, some valuables were retained. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, hey, there's a time thing, too. If you want to can go faster. There's quite a bit of levels here, too. Oof. A lot of levels here. All right, well, uh, I think that's going to do it for me. Uh, let's see. We got to give the game a ranking. It's all right. I still like the art style on it. Art style is pretty cool. Uh, combat, I think once I get further in and I have more skills and stuff like that, it'll be a lot cooler. Um, it wasn't too too bad i need to learn the button layout a bit better because i feel like i was going slow and that i could go so much faster had i utilized more of the sub weapons and kind of knew like which buttons to press for the sub weapons uh getting just more comfortable with it i'm sure as i progress that'll happen uh, i like the randomness of the weapons that you can get as well that's a true like roguelike fashion uh neon abyss is a good uh, example of that type of game where you just get like different guns each run and each gun does different attacks and same kind of here each little melee weapon does something different I'm a big attack damage higher good person versus like uh, going fast or anything like that I'm not a, a quick type person I just want to go in and hit him twice and, and move on as opposed to like hit him once dodge hit him once dodge hit him once dodge hit him once dodge hit him once and dodge doing a bunch of uh, little attacks so yeah uh, will I come back and play this game again I'm gonna say maybe I would maybe come back and play this game again other than the art style uh, there's nothing that's really like get me to want to continue to go back the, there's not really much of a story here to follow um I kind of give it like a mid rating 
instead of a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Like it's it's okay, but there's a lot of roguelike games out there that uh, are I don't want to say better, kind of like more attention grabbing. Yeah, we'll say that more attention grabbing than this one is. But we've also only played like 30 minutes of it. We could just as easily continue forward and uh, have something that will completely change the way I think about that. Well, that's just what the first kind of 30 some odd minutes of playing this game has gotten me. I would have really liked being able also to use my controller instead of using the mouse and keyboard. I don't know if it's just because it's not reading the controller or if it just doesn't have controller support. According to Steam, they did not send any information saying that it has any type of controller support. So we don't know if it had controller support, which I found out it doesn't. Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.